I would encourage you to take a look at this video before listening to today's podcast. I'm Liz from Learn Robotics. I don't usually review music on this show, but I absolutely had to come on here and record this podcast episode because I have never seen so much technology jammed into a modern, popular, trending music video. So why not come on here and give you a perspective from a robotics engineer about all these robots that have appeared in Katy Perry's When I'm Gone music video. That and more on today's episode of Learn Robotics with Liz. I'm Liz from Learn Robotics and welcome to Learn Robotics with Liz, the show where I talk about all things robotics and tech from the perspective of an engineer and share my thoughts on what I think you can do to learn more about tech and ultimately learn robotics. Stay tuned. We've got an awesome episode for you here today. If you're new to the show, please consider subscribing to my channel or subscribing on whatever podcasting platform you're listening to. Ready? Let's get to it. I saw this debut during the halftime show on the Uh, college football world championship last night and this was monday monday night and it caught my eye because initially i thought it was an ad i I guess i wasn't paying attention when they announced that they were debuting a brand new song from Katy perry with her music video but you can see like she's in she's in like this factory or like industrial environment there's like this some technology it almost feels like there was an ad for like products and then you throw in some robots and some holograms and like a lot of digital effects. So I'm gonna start out by saying that the song is pretty good. Not gonna dock the song, I think it's pretty good from for a pop music song. I'm also going to say like the introduction of technology and adding more technology into everybody's lives, I think is a good thing. I think more people need to be exposed in, cop- in popular music and in popular culture to technology like we need to start seeing more robotics we need to see start seeing more technology in day to day just so that people become more comfortable with it and people know that it's a possibility like for their career or um, to pursue or to utilize i'm going to talk basically about two technologies that i think are most important takeaways from this video from a technology standpoint and then what i'm going to do is break down do I think robots should be used in this way? So the first technology we see Katy Perry, she walks out with the, uh, there's a robot dog that looks like Spot from Boston Dynamics. If you haven't seen this robot, go ahead and click the link in the show notes. It looks very similar to this. I'm not gonna claim that is it's that exact model, but it looks like a robot dog. It's not yellow, it's white in this video. She walks out of a phone booth, she's with this robot dog, and they like head into this factory. It's a little bit bizarre. I'm not really, I'm not really sure what what the purpose was of that was. But I don't necessarily think that this video is trying to say that robots are replacing people. I don't really get that vibe either. I almost think that she's like using this robot as like a companion or as like a guard or something like that. But the the real purpose of this robot, the spot robot, at least from Boston Dynamics, is they were using it for military applications. They were definitely learning how to um, better understand walking patterns. So four-legged walking patterns in robotics, so mobility. So traditionally, like mobile robots is like kind of like the earliest stage in robotics, in my opinion, where they would use wheels to move around. But the second, the second kind of piece to that is learning how to create algorithms to nail down a walking pattern. Walking with robots is very difficult because you have to figure out your balance and you have to figure out at what angle do you move Um, And especially if you have four legs, how do you manipulate each leg and control each motor on uneven terrain at terrain of different angles on stairs? So there's there's a lot of brain power that goes into this technology. And I guess maybe we're at a point where the technology is so good that this robot is now in the video. Now, there's this other thing that as I'm watching this and I'm, I'm sitting here, I have it up on my computer, I'm kind of doing like a play-by-play analysis from a robotics perspective. You just don't know these days like what you're watching, if it's real or if it's not. And I, and I mean this in a way that like deep fake exists. So this is like this is like going beyond and and kind of making a comment that 
if the robot is not actually there and they didn't actually record the robot with Katy Perry, they could have added the robot in and post and they could have made a, you know, a digital version. They have a creative of this robot and they just overlay it in video and it's a production edit. And if that's the case, then they're pretty good. They're pretty good because I am totally faked out. It's, this literally looks like they have a robot there and they're recording, they're videoing an actual robot in the footage and they're including it in the video. If not, then the magic of TV has just gotten so good. And I just, I, I don't know. I'm like, I'm like 50-50 on like, is this robot a real robot and they've added it in? Or is this robot just a, some footage of robots and they've added it in in post. So two ideas there. The robot is a real robot. The robot does have a real purpose. I would encourage you to go check it out if you are interested in robotics. Second comment about the spot robot. We've, we've kind of seen maybe more recently like companion robots. And I could totally see spot being like a, like a dog. You know, like instead of getting like an actual like animal as a pet you could have a robot as a pet they're definitely easier to take care of and they don't require maybe as many resources they don't need to be fed i mean you do need to probably charge their batteries but they're not going to be like eating you know dog food or something like that they would be probably plugged in every night like a uh, household electronic device. So there's kind of that side of robotics that I think is kind of compelling as well. Uh, second technology that I saw in this video, there was a man wearing like an exoskeleton and I feel like you have to watch this a couple times to perhaps see it. And I'm, I'm seeing it, I, he comes in with like a briefcase and then in another cut after the spot robot I think is upside down, he's like wearing an exoskeleton You'll, you could kind of see it like on his legs and i don't really know what the purpose of that is usually exoskeletons they are real technologies they're still being studied right now there may actually be some commercial products available for exoskeletons um I actually take that back i think there are like if you if you wanted to buy an exoskeleton i think you could most of the people that use exoskeletons have limited mobility they have spinal cord problems uh, they want to get out of a wheelchair and a lot of people like with paralysis, they'll wear these exoskeletons and the exoskeleton is designed to move your legs, you know? So it's, it's uh, getting some, some feedback from your environment and helping you walk. So instead of using a wheelchair, you could wear an exoskeleton and they usually have like a little backpack with all of like the wires and, and the storage and that kind of stuff. Uh, available so that you could you could actually go out into the real world you know you could go take a walk instead of using a wheelchair so I'm not sure if that's exactly what's in the music video it almost looks like that I don't know if it's just the pants he's wearing or what I wouldn't be surprised if it was an exoskeleton just due to the nature of this video it may not be. I don't know. I might be seeing things. I might be adding this analysis in, but I did want to point that out in case he was wearing an exoskeleton. That's real technology. It's pretty awesome. It's really, I think, a game changer for a lot of people in, uh, you know, spinal cord rehabilitation, that kind of um, anybody that needs to relearn how to walk. I know that talk technology has been uh, is being reused. So I think it's a it's really great from a technology standpoint. So I'm going to rate this video. I don't usually rate music videos because that's not what my podcast is about, but I had to kind of hop on here and talk a little bit about robotics and my thoughts on introducing robotics into mainstream culture. I think overall, I'm going to rate this a seven, eight. I think it's a, I think overall it's fairly, it's fairly good. I think the music is good. I think the introduction of technology is good. I wish there was more context as to why they had robots in this video. It almost felt like an advertisement and there were some like apps and things like that. Um, I believe LG had a product in here as well. Lot, lots of edits, lots of like high tech, you know, they had some code appear on the screens. So I think from a promotion of technology and getting people interested in pursuing 
technical avenues, I think it's awesome. I think that that part is great. I would love to, if I ever had the opportunity to talk to KD Perry, I'd love to know like her thought process behind introducing robots. If it was her idea or if it was a producer's idea or like whoever created this concept for the music video, I would love to know like more about the robots. And then my last comment would be, is the robot real or are you deep faking us and just adding it in post? Let me know what you think in your comments below if you're watching on YouTube. If you like this kind of video, I know it's a lot of random pop culture with robotics, but if you do like to listen to this kind of stuff, leave a thumbs up on this video and submit a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. It would really help me out as I'm growing the channel. And that is all for today's episode of Learn Robotics with Liz. As always, love the feedback. If you have questions you'd like me to answer on an upcoming episode, please visit anchor.fm slash learnrobotics slash message and upload an audio message today. And hey, you just might be featured on an upcoming episode. I'm Liz from Learn Robotics. I will see you next time. If you listen this far, don't forget to subscribe.